Puss, puss, puss. The next look at me, I can't wait to be a pain in the ass, aren't you? Puss, 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 puss. Puss, 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 puss. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Puss, 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 puss. Man, every time I get the camera with this cat right meow. I wanna record this meow, it's got the best meows, this old cat. Hey, you don't want to meow on camera, you're just shy, eh? You smart little bastard. You don't meow much, do you, eh? You know, viewers, I bought one of these E2S, um, these E2S company make the best fire alarms. I wanted one of these sorts of um, warning signals for a switchboard project or a possible alarm clock hack. These things are quite cool, I like these. European safety systems. Look up this company on the internet, uh, e2s.com. This is how I happen to buy off eBay. They did come up with eBay from time to time, these um, alarms. It's got a 32 different tone settings on it. And it's 104 decibel loud. It's a very loud little warning signal. It uses one of those um, old telephone headset speakers. So I've got a couple of those in my collection, actually. For a telephone headset speaker, I wouldn't want to use this circuit board job on that speaker in a telephone headset. It'll deafen you. It'll blow your brains out. It is loud. This model is a DC operated. It operates from 10 to 30 volts DC. But nominal, best performance is at 24 volts DC. I've got to find a 24 volt DC wall wart. I should have one somewhere. Pretty good quality stuff. There's a crystal there that drives that chip, and that chip's the amplifier chip for the speaker. So that crystal is governed. What the uh, what it goes? The, the, the crystal determines how this um whatever setting that is. It drives the um, switches on and off, on and off, on and off, and times it. That times the um intermittency between beeps. W1 and W2 for speakers. I could put a big university bloody horn speaker on if I wanted to. So by playing with those switches in any combination, I'll have any different alarm tone I want. I get the um, tripod, it is loud. Switch settings are shown in the tone table. Black squares are the switch levers in the on position. So I've only got one switched on, that's, like, that's what it is from factory. To wire it up, you get your positive and negative. It's a bit, um, you have to work read the instructions specifically to what model you've got. So I've got the A100 model. So you stage two and stage three, it tells you what they do. I think they go through more alarms. Yeah, they do too, in a circuit. So for the 150 T30 volt AC driven models, you got different, different connections in there. But for, for my model, what I've got, I've got this one. S2 and S3. But I've only got one, so I just put the positive and positive and negative and negative, and that's it. I looked at the tracer on the board, the negative's on the end, which goes through the rectifier, and the positive I use is going through that diode. Going through that diode to the rest of the circuits, I use the last positive, and skip that negative and go to this negative on the end. Come on, cat, you gotta be scared. Anyway, let's give this thing a test. I'll set the switches, I'll turn this uh, audio down because i got Ray Hadley playing. There we are! Loud! Sounds kind of like the buzzer on photonic induction's um, switchboard. I can turn it down. And we gotta turn the volume down. It's probably the, the loudness I want for my switchboard, I reckon. It beeps like that when I press the high voltage alert button and it turns the high voltage circuit on. It'll warn me that there's high voltage safety first. So it's good for that sort of thing. That is loud. What a 
They're all on, and I turned one off and two off. So I'm going through a sequence of all the settings and um, tones this thing has. Oh, that's a screeching ear, ear in fact, that one. Reversing alarm. So if you're going backwards, you put this on your car and it beeps. Well, we got, I got one off, two on, three off, four on, five off, and six on to get that alarm. So I'm, I'm going backwards. Actually, six doesn't do anything at this stage. A ladder reversing alarm. I'm used to that one because our metal detector at work's got one of these on it. Exactly the same model as this but with a neon on top and it's set to this alarm. I'm sick of that one. selection this thing's got. Now there's a cat's not coming in there. Another reversing alarm. It's quite fun to play with these because I quite like them. to make a proper connection for this and put a tower and a block on the side of that so I can screw a cord on it to, to a cord gland and find a good beefy 24 volt PC power supply for us nominal range. I quite like that, it's quite cool. Pretty uh, nice little alarm, I like it a lot. So that's going to be my um, switchboard project. I'll make a switch, look like a switch, uh, like I do on my mod and have this on another switchboard somewhere. So when I turn the mod on, and when I'm at Sodaka Soft Earth, this would just go off briefly just to let me know that there's um, high voltage there. It's a safety um, feature. Well, this have pretty much demonstrated all 32 tones here, I think. Okay, it goes to 93 decibels, all the way to 104 decibels. Yeah, it's, um, it does go a bit louder depending on the tone. Stage 2 and Stage 3 tones. I haven't hooked up Stage 2 and 3 because you need another two of those if you want to use it in a circuit. You do have to wear earmuffs too. It is bloody loud. I don't know if the camera will pick it up as good as my ears did, but it is loud. Anyway, it's a good little uh, safety feature for my switchboard project or maybe even an alarm, alarm clock mod. Thanks for watching.